Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at wireless printing. This episode, we're going to show you how to get your wireless printer onto your network. Now, a lot of people want to print things, but they may not always be near their printer. We find ourselves all around the house these days. We we're taking our laptops with us wherever we go inside the house. We have mobile devices, and a lot of cases, it's not convenient to have your printer tethered to some device in another room. You want to print from wherever you happen to be. In fact, a lot of people may not even have a stationary computer to attach their printer to anymore. It may all be mobile devices or laptops. Thankfully, there's a whole generation of wireless printers that allow you to connect to your network via Wi-Fi in addition to the USB connectivity on the back of the printers, which means you can place the printers wherever you want in the house and then you can print whatever you want from wherever you want in the house. So, of course, what you're going to need for this to work is access to a Wi-Fi signal. So, for example, if you have your network all the way upstairs, but you want the printer all the way downstairs and it doesn't get a signal down there, it's probably not going to work. So, you may have to move it upstairs. Now, of course, what you're going to need is a printer that's capable of connecting to your Wi-Fi network. There are a few of these out there right now, so you'll want to check the box to make sure it is actually capable of Wi-Fi connectivity. The exact procedures for getting your Wi-Fi printer onto the network are going to vary slightly from printer to printer, but generally they're going to give you an option during the initial setup for connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Now, these new Wi-Fi printers typically have a screen on the front of them that allow you to configure the printer and actually get it on the network without having to connect it to another computer first. So when you pull the printer out of the box, plug it in, and then start the process of setting it up, you'll go through the usual stuff like putting in your cartridges, but generally with a Wi-Fi printer, it'll give you an option for setting up your wireless networking. So during this process, you'll look on the list for your network as it scans for networks, tap on your network, enter in your password, and then after that, it will connect to the network. Now these printers always give you the ability to go back and change your network if you need to. So they generally have a settings panel that gives you access to the networking, or you have ability to go straight into networking from that main panel. Now generally at the end of the setup process, these printers will give you the option to print out a setup page. And this is generally a pretty good idea to do this because it'll have extra networking information like the IP address the printer has on your network and other specific information about this printer on your network, which will allow you to troubleshoot if you need to set this up manually down the road and you don't have the disk. Once you've connected your printer to the network, then you should be able to see it from other laptops, desktops, and mobile devices that are on the same network that have capability of printing to this printer. We'll show you how to set up some of those other devices in upcoming episodes in the series. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.